pretty nice view. Yeah, I'd say so. Would you mind getting a picture of me? Sure. Wait, don't, don't take it yet. Something just feels off, you know. I don't know. It's like not dramatic enough. You could try getting in the river. All right. Wait, yeah? I forgot my giant wooden fork. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated Oh yeah, that's the River Queen. She thinks she owns the river. What the heck are you doing on my property? I own this river. We're, we're just trying to take a picture. No, no pictures on my property. This is my river. No. Why? I own this river and I say no. Hey. Wait a minute, what you got there in your hand? It's a big wooden fork. I'll tell you what. You give me that big wooden fork and I'll let you take your pictures on my river. I own this river! Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Many years have since passed since that day on the river, and I still think about that strange fellow, his memory preserved in a single photograph. And I often return there, wearing that same blue t-shirt and pair of khaki shorts, in hopes he might see me and recognize this familiar apparel as a sign I still remember him. Most of the time I find myself alone, and I wonder, perhaps was he ever real at all? Perhaps am I the strange fellow in this story? But every once in a while, when the stars are right and the wind smells of lawnmowers, I see him, standing in the river, waiting ever patiently for his picture to be taken, never fully knowing if someone will ever take mine. That the nation shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.